Welcome back to Canal Lanes for the semifinal match in this Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour event, the last event of the 2011-2012 season. In this match, Brian Mayer, who is on lane 13, will be facing the number two seed, Stephen Reno Jr. on lane 14. And the winner of this match will move on to the finals against top seed Steve Vadney. And there is a strike by Brian Mayer in the first box. It took a while to go down, but uh, let's take a look at how it happened. A little bit of a skip lob there. Bounced the ball off the foul line, but uh, he comes up kind of light in the 1-3 pocket and gets some sidewall action and finally that 2 pin falls into the wood that takes out the five. So that's a strike to begin for Brian Mayer. Brian is trying to become the bowler of the year in this uh, on the Western New England tour. Dave Dupuy, who he defeated in the previous match, is leading in the bowler of the year standings. And Dave, as you probably know, was the bowler of the year last year, but uh, Brian is trying to unseat him as the bowler of the year this year. Steven Reno Jr. with a spare in the second frame. Brian Mayer with a nine fill on that strike. He uh, almost stole a spare, but the piece of wood that came off the wall didn't quite catch the head pin. He'll take a 10. So after two, Brian Mayer has 29 and Steven Reno has 19 plus the spare fill. Steven adds seven, so he's got 26 after two. Brian Mayer with a nice ball in the 1-3 pocket, dropping eight, leaving a 5-8 two pinner with a piece of wood in front of it. Steven Reno catches the six pin with his second ball, but isn't able to generate any action off the wall to get the spare. Brian Mayer converts the 5-8. That gives Brian 39 plus the spare fill to 34 for Steven Reno after three. Steven, as you can see, pulls out of... Oh, there's a strike by Steven Reno. Nice ball. Really, uh, really quick. You can see he gets kind of a mixer in the 1-3 pocket, sort of medium light hit. Lots of sidewall action, and those pins go down in a hurry. Steven bowls out of bogey lanes in East Brookfield, Massachusetts. And as I'm sure you know, Steven... Is, uh, is a, a past winner of uh, some events on the Western New England Tour. And Brian, of course, is uh, regularly seen in the stepladder match play rounds here in the Western New England Tour. He almost cashes almost every time. Maybe not every time, but one of the most consistent performers out here. Brian with a solid 1-3 pocket hit, dropping 9. He's got the 4 pin. Steven Reno looking for another mark. And he misses the head pin. He had a good piece of wood there that might have carry the 8 if he had hit the head pin, but, uh, and actually it did carry the 8, but he just went by the head pin. It'll be a 9 for Steven Reno, and as you saw, Brian Mayer converted that spare. So, let's take a look at the scoreboard through 5 frames. Brian Mayer has 60 with the spare fill, and Steven Reno 62. So Brian has an opportunity to take the lead with this spare fill as they switch lanes. Brian goes over to lane 14, and Steven will finish the match on lane 13. 
So anything over two that Brian gets on this spare fill will give him the lead. But he just punches out the two once again. Half Worcester right side punches out the three and nine. So it's a tie game through five at 62. Steven Reno with seven. And again, he has a six, seven, and 10. And Brian Mayer goes through the nice bid by Steven, but isn't able to get the 10 pin. Brian Mayer will take a six box in the sixth. And Steven Reno with a 10, so Steven takes the lead by four. 72 to 68 through six. Brian Mayer solid on the head pin on the on the left side. Leave, leaves a uh, four, six, piece of wood at an angle in front of the six. Might give him a chance to uh, to cover this bear, but I'm not sure. Probably have to get something to come off the wall. I don't think the ball is gonna. And that's what he was trying to do was to get something to come off the wall. The ball didn't cover the four. Steven Reno, is that going to go? Look at that seven pin. Is it going to go? No, it's not. That's really a tough break. Excellent bid on that spare. But the uh, seven pin remained. And it's a 10 box for each bowler. So Steven Reno maintains that four pin lead through seven boxes. There is a light hit by Brian Mayer. He drops five, and that's really a strange lead. That's three, six, seven, eight, nine. Piece of wood that might help him. Steven Reno has a much better spare lead, the three, six, ten. And Brian just barely caught the three pin, so he didn't, uh, didn't get anything else. And Steven with another solid attempt on that spare, but he just caught a little bit too much of the three pin. And so the 10 didn't go. Brian Mayer takes an eight and Steven makes a 10. So through eight, Steven Reno is now up by six pins, 92 to 86. Brian Mayer in the one three pocket drops eight. He's got the eight and 10 with a piece of wood in between that looks pretty good. It's at an angle that he can probably get the pin, the wood to take the 10 and the ball to cover the eight. And that's exactly what happened. Let's take a closer look at it. Yeah, nicely covered right there. So that's going to tighten it up a little bit. Wow. And once again, that's, I think that's four boxes in a row that Steven Reno has come very close. He's hit the object pin on the spare attempt, but hasn't been able to uh, catch a break, really. He's, he's hit those spares, they just haven't gone. So that makes it 102 to 96 plus a ball, meaning that uh, Brian Mayer can take the lead by getting more than six on this spare. And he drops seven, eight. That gives him a two pin lead through nine. And he's got a nice little two pinner, the two four, for another spare. Steven Reno with an eight drop as well, and he's got a two pinner, four seven. Piece of wood out in front that he's really gonna have to hit that kind of high to push it back and take out the four seven. And he's gonna need to do it because Brian Mayer converts the spare. Wow, and once again, Steven Reno comes very close to, he pretty much did what he had to do there, but the uh, the wood only covered the four and not the seven. So Brian Mayer is going to be the winner in this match. He's got, Steven Reno finishes with a 112 and Brian has won 14 plus the last ball. And he fills it with four. So Brian Mayer will be moving on to the finals against Steve Vadney. Let's take a look at the final score in this semifinal match.
Brian Mayer, 118. Stephen Reno Jr., 112. So that moves Brian into the finals against Steve Vadney for this Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour event at Canal Lanes.